Hey guys, it's Landon Blake with Redefine Horizons, and this is the second video in the set of videos I'm doing that just show you how to prepare a fairly simple modern meets and bounds land description. So we're preparing a land description for some street right away here for a road called Ward, Ward Road. It's in a master plan community that we're working on. So in the first video, I kind of got you guys set up. We walked through the caption. Um, I explained the different things you needed to have before you started writing your description. And then we went ahead and, and described the point of beginning and added the first course. Okay, so now we're going to keep we're going to keep writing this description. It gets a little bit tricky because we do have a couple curves here. So we're going to have this. We've got to describe these two curves here, this one and this one. Okay, so uh, what we actually have is we've got a... Uh, what, what they call a reverse curve, okay, so and this curve right here as we intersect this line is non-tangent Okay, so a little bit tricky, but nothing we can't handle All right, so um, I've copied in my standard language for a curve here, so I'm gonna Drop this in and again. We're not going to worry about the distances uh, That we're plugging in here just yet or the bearings. We're just going to get this set up Okay, so we're going to say then along um Okay, and we're going to say the, uh, actually, you know what we want to do? We're going to run three courses up this side of this proposed right away. So I'm going to, whenever I do that, I try and just do a numbered list. Okay, so we're going to say then along the uh, following courses, or see, then the following courses along the said Easterly boundary of the right of way being described. Okay, so this is going to be our first first course of the three along this easterly boundary. Okay, so we're going to say then along a, and this is non-tangent because of the way we're coming into it. Okay, a non-tangent curve. Okay, and we're going curve to the left, right? So I always stand on the line and think about which way the curve is if I'm facing the end of the line. In the direction of travel. So that's along a non-tangent curve to the left, an arc length of, okay, and we can go back to our closure report for this. Okay, so we have an arc length of 215, I'm sorry, an arc length of 5417. Okay, now you need some more information for a curve, right? We need some more pieces, so I say, and there's there's a thousand different ways to do curves, okay? This is just, this is the way I do it. Okay, it doesn't mean I'm right and the other way is wrong, just a preference. So, I, after that, I put in parentheses said curve having a radius of, and this is 215 feet, and a central angle of some value. Let's see what it is. Sorry about that. Okay, so our delta is 142607. So, we're just going to copy that right out of the closure. Okay. Okay to the what. Okay, so on this one there is no two call because we're just running along this easterly boundary. Okay, and then I put in parentheses again, if it's a non-tangent curve, I add this. So you don't need this for tangent curves, but this is non-tangent. The chord of said curve ha having a bearing of blah, blah, blah. Okay, so let's see if it's in our closure. It should be. Okay, so here's our chord bearing. North 16, 15, 50 west. Okay. And it doesn't look like we have the cord length, so that wasn't in our closure report. So we'll have to get that. Okay, so let's drop in our bearing. And that's just a setting we need to tweak in our... That's just a setting we need to tweak in our... Uh, in our closure report. So let's go into our boundary design and grab this cord. Okay, so there's our cord length, 5406. Okay. Okay, and then when we're all done with that, we can match properties. I'm sorry, I keep saying that from CAD. But it's, we're going to use the format painter. That's what it's called in Word. Okay, so there's our first curve. That that was a little bit tough, but it wasn't like, you know, we didn't die. It wasn't totally brutal. All right, now, we got another curve coming up, right? So we're just going to copy this text here. Okay. So, now, again, we're not going to worry about the distances of the bearings yet. We're just going to get the other terms correct, okay? 
the other control and call. So then along, now this time it's tangent. Okay, and actually, it's not it's not tangent, it's this is a special kind of curve, it's reverse curve. Okay, so it's a curve tangent to a curve. Okay, if it if they were both to the left, it'd be a compound curve, but the first curve was to the left, this is to the right, so it's a reverse curve. That's along reverse curve to the right. An arc length of, okay, we'll fill that in. Said curve having a radius of blah and a central angle of blah. Okay, we're going to get rid of the two call because we're running along that course. And this is a, a tangent curve, so we don't need the chord there. Okay, so let's get our arc length and our radius out of our closure. Okay, arc length is 77.54. Radius is 180, and while we're in here, we'll copy our central angle. Okay. So, radius of 180 feet. Yeah, central angle of, we'll drop that delta in there. Okay, and then we can just match property, or do the format painter, sorry. <clears throat> okay, so, got our two, two curves done. Woo! All right, and a, and a reverse curve at that. Okay, so the next one's easy, right? Because it's just a bearing of distance. Okay, so then we're going, uh, we're going to say then, northerly. Okay, and then we're going to, um, so then we'll add our bearing of distance feet along the, okay, we don't need the along call because we're doing this list. And we don't, um, we don't need the two call either, so we just do the bearing and the distance. Okay, so let's grab that out of our closure. Spell out my quadrant directions, south, west, okay, and then let's make this a bulleted list, okay, and then we can just format that, okay, now uh, we got one more course, which is a curve, okay, but it's a tangent curve, it makes it a little easier, okay, so we're going to copy that up, so then we go along a tangent curve, Okay, and we're going to the right, nope, we're going to the left this time, sorry, to the left. Okay, just so you guys can see what we're doing. We're coming on this curve now, curve to the left, tangent. Okay, curve to the left, an arc length of blah, said curve having a radius of blah and a central angle of blah. Okay, now this is the last course in the list, so it always gets a two call. Okay, so we got to think about what are we going to. Okay, so if we come back over and look at our subdivision map, okay, because that's the reference doc. Okay, we're coming up, we're hitting this north line a lot C right here, right? So we want to call that out as our two call. Okay, to the north boundary of lot, and I like to say boundary, not line, the north boundary of lot C. And we'll say said lot C. Okay. Alright. So there we go. That's our first list, and now we've run all the way up that easterly side of the right away. Okay, so now we're going to break out of the list because we're not on the easterly side of the right away. Okay, so we're going to say then what are we doing? Now we're going easterly. Just to show you guys, we're coming easterly. We're here, we're coming easterly this way along that north line of lot C. So along the north boundary of said lot C. Okay, what are we going to? Okay, now this is important. It's the westerly line of the railway, but it's also the westerly line of this remainder parcel, so we got to call that out. Okay. Two, so we're going to say to the westerly line of lot. Oh, of the 71.56 acre remainder parcel shown, I'm going to just say of, of said subdivision. Okay. Now we need to get a, the bearing and distance out of our closure. Okay. 
So here's our bearing and distance along that line. I told you I was dyslexic, right? Because we're actually going westerly. I can see that when I drop these in. That's why it's good to have a closure report. And why it's good to not be dyslexic if you're a land surveyor. That's why all my stuff gets triple checked. Because I am dyslexic. Mildly dyslexic. Okay. <clears throat> now some, some guys would also call out the, you know, They'd call out the westerly boundary here and describe right away. I, I don't feel a need to do that. I think we're fine with what we got. <clears throat> okay. So, let's just review where we're at here on our plat. Okay. So, we're here. Okay, now we're going to go in one big curve. Okay, down, headed south. But, it's non-tangent because of the way we're coming into it. Let me show you that. See, it's non-tangent because of the way we're coming into the curve. So we need to we need to describe that as a non-tangent curve. So let's do that. Okay, so we're going to say then then along a non-tangent curve. Okay, and actually I want to set this up as a as a list. And I forgot to tell you guys too when I do lists like this I don't I don't uh, do the I don't do the thins. take those out up here. Just a preference thing. Okay, so we're going to make this a list too. Um, let's see, do I want to make this a list? Yeah, we're going to make this a list too. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a list here. So I'm going to say then the following courses along the uh, easterly boundaries of, now I have to call two parcels because I'm going along the boundaries of two parcels. Easterly parcels of said remainder parcel and lot B as shown on said subdivision. Okay, so let me show you guys why I did that real quick. Did that the way I did. So we're going along the <clears throat> easterly boundaries of both of these parcels here, the remainder and lot B, so that's why I called it out the way I did. Okay, so this is going to be our first course, this non-tangent curve. Okay, unfortunately in life we have to deal with curves as land surveyors. <clears throat> okay, along a non-tangent curve, okay, and this curve is going to be a little tricky with non-tangent, so let me think about it for a minute. This is going to the right. Okay, to the right, an arc length of blah, say curve having a radius of blah, and a central angle of blah, okay, and we can get rid of the two call, because we're in a list, but we need to keep the chord in here because we have a non-tangent curve. Okay, so let's grab the data we need out of our closure report. So the radius is 526, and the length is 254.43. Can't remember the length now. 526. Let's grab our central angle while we're in here. So we got a radius of 526. And a central angle here we'll drop in. Okay. Okay, and then we need our cord bearing, which is in the closure. Okay, so here's our cord bearing. We need to grab that length of the cord bearing out of the drawing uh, because uh, we didn't have it in our closure report. So let's do that real quick. Okay, so there's our cord length 251.96. Format, paint that. Okay, and then we got sometimes Word will do this. We just tell it you got to restart your list at one here. Word, word, word up. Okay, 
so we're a little long on this video so uh, we've only got one cup one more course to finish though so we're just gonna wrap it up okay okay so then our next course is just a bearing in a distance and we don't have any more curves Woo! all right Oop. so this should be easy okay so we're gonna go now we're going southerly right then southerly Okay, so then we got X, 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 so, so uh, some bearing and distance. So here's our bearing and distance. Just grab that right out of the closure report. Because we got a list, we don't need to then we'll get rid of that. Okay, and we don't need the long course. Okay, but we do need the two course because it's the last one in the list, last course in the list. But the the, the two course is easy because we're going back to our point of beginning here. So we're going to just drop that in here. Okay, now the, uh, I do need to clean this up just a little bit. I just uh, there's something I goofed up on. You guys know I don't ever goof, right? Okay. So uh, what I'm going to do is uh, this direction call, I'm going to go ahead and add along at the top here. So I'm going to say then northerly. Okay, the following courses. And what that means is now I can take the northerly out here. It applies to everything in the list. And uh, we'll do the same thing here. So then we'll say then southerly. And then we can get rid of the southerly here. We make that apply to everything. Every all the courses in the list now we know are in a in a southerly direction. Okay, we'll just spell these out like we're supposed to. Okay, and then I dropped in the area from the closure report already. You can see that's at the bottom of the closure report. Okay, so uh, we're in pretty good shape here. Um, and that's it. That's uh, that's basically what there is to a to a land description. Okay, so I'm going to drop my signature down here at the bottom, and this is just standard language I have. Distance is shown in feet. Description is prepared under my supervision. I also like to add and our ground distances, not grid distances. This is in ground. Okay. So uh, oh. Man, we got some, what happened here? We got an issue here. We got some missing curve data. I goofed, I goofed up here, guys. So we got a curve to the left. Let's finish that. Just when I thought I was done. All right, so we got a curve to the left, 253.79. This is 598, and our central angle is 241859, and what we'll do guys is we'll uh, we'll definitely get a second set of eyeballs on this right because I am dyslexic make sure that we don't have any mistakes I think that's good practice okay so we're gonna go ahead and save this now I think we've got a, a pretty good description here we got to walk you guys through our basic process there you saw how we we added the controlling calls and the data from the closure report obviously our closure report needs a little bit of cleanup we'll work on that uh, but I think we got a good good land description here so this is probably not the last videos I will do on land descriptions I'll, I'll do some more we'll do some strip descriptions and we'll do some area descriptions and some aliquot descriptions and we'll do some funkier meets and bounds descriptions but I wanted to get something out for you guys so there you go appreciate you watching and I will catch you on the next video